I was really interested in getting involved at Cal Academy. I grew up in the area. I was always in love with it. I've had maybe six birthdays here. My parents were sick of it. <laughs> Ever since I was little, I always wanted to work in the ocean. I myself started off as a volunteer at the age of 13. Someone that I think would be a good volunteer is someone who is curious and is okay with asking a lot of questions. I have that passion and curiosity for science. The main thing is just being enthusiastic, having the desire to learn, basically being a sponge. The thing that really unites our volunteers is their love of learning, the interest in growing, and being a part of what the Academy does. We have over 545 volunteers from all over the Bay Area who do a variety of different tasks for us. We have people in almost every department across our whole institution, from public floor engagement, so talking to our guests, to people who dive in the tanks and help clean and assist our biologists, to folks in our scientific collections who do work with preservation and labeling. I like the flexibility. We both prefer to take out cards. Thursday Night Night Live seems to be kind of a like a date night almost, you know? like. We can tell when people come up, you know, kind of their interactions and the way that they interact with us. Science has a way of bringing people together. I'm only here one day a week for six hours. It's a wide variety of things. <laughs> and I'm always excited to be here. As a dive volunteer, we help make sure the dive show happens. So it's twice daily at the Philippine Coral Reef. We also clean the big acrylic windows for the different exhibits. The dive safety office is pretty small, and they're helping marine biologists doing research both here at the academy and out in the field. So by the volunteers taking on some of the tasks for some of the more regularly scheduled things, that frees up their time to help assist with research expeditions in the Maldives, for example, or going to gather heat-resistant coral. In the aquarium department, I am the volunteer coordinator. We'll screen the volunteers, and then I'll match them up with the biologists, train them, get them up and going, Volunteers provide an extra pair of hands. They allow us to focus on our conservation projects, working more towards breeding or culturing. And sometimes we're training the new generation of biologists coming in. We're opening that door for them, so we're giving them that insight. I started volunteering here about 10 years ago now. The first department that needed assistance was the invertebrate zoology department, and it just clicked. I felt like this is what I want to do. I love putting things away. I love putting things in order. I love learning about things. So I just kept volunteering. Eventually a part-time position opened up and I got it. And I started working full-time about seven years ago. We have around 800,000 specimen lots in our collection, so we heavily rely on volunteers to get our work done. They helped me scan specimen labels, they helped put labels in jars, they helped make that data accessible. We're very grateful for our volunteers and we don't take them for granted that they're giving us their time, their energy to help us accomplish our goals here at the museum. It's a lot of fun. You get to meet some great other volunteers, as well as get a little peek behind the scenes as to the cool stuff happening back of house that keeps all these cool exhibits running. We're always telling people, you should be at the Academy. 